Welcome to Tooling Up, a series by MSC Industrial Supply Company that provides real-world insights brought to you by leading industry experts and aimed at improving the efficiency and productivity of your operations. Hey everybody, this is Eddie and welcome to MSC's latest video series, Tooling Up, featuring our good friends, Kiyosera SGS. In today's episode, we're here to talk about one of SGS's most versatile and exciting tools, the Series 77 H-Carb. And here to tell us about all the amazing things with this tool, we have one of our industry leading experts from the SGS team, Chris Dixon. So let's bring Chris on in. Hey Chris, thank you so much for joining us. And before we get started today, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for SGS. Thanks for having me, Eddie. Uh, sure, my name is Chris. Uh, I am the application engineer for SGS's Western region. Uh, so I support the uh, sales team from a technical aspect, uh, whether it be at the end user site, working with them to optimize applications, uh, digging into programming, finding better solutions to uh, ultimately help them find more value at the spindle. Hey, no, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we're going to be talking about a very dynamic tool, the Series 77 h Carb. And as we get things rolling, we're going to pull up a little bit of B-roll, and we're going to have Chris tell us about what we're seeing today. So the Series 77, or the h Carb as we refer to it, is a seven-flute tool focused or driven around high-efficiency machining, dynamic milling, adaptive milling, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what we focus this around. With the seven flutes, uh, longer lengths of cut and two and a half, three and four times D uh, length of cut configurations, uh, it's really driven for uh, increasing metal removal rates, providing ultimately more performance for the customer. Um, we get there with a series of features. Uh, we're going to highlight with a uh, 37 degree helix as well as an optimized radial rake. What this boils down to is this tool has a really good shearing capability uh, while also maintaining uh, edge durability uh, for more aggressive cuts and longer run times. Uh, it does have a, a, a larger core diameter on the four times D uh, version of the tool. And so that really just adds in stability with more tools sticking out there. We can still hit uh, some of those more aggressive step overs uh, and feed rates while uh, maintaining a stable tool. On the next page, you'll see that this is a non-center cutting tool. Uh, so in doing that, that allowed us to make a more rigid end on the tool, which uh, ultimately, going back to the last slide, uh, gives us more stability, uh, gives a better floor finish uh, on top of being unequally indexed, uh, helps cut out some of the chatter. And the way we uh, optimize the end work uh, all around just leads to, a, again, a more stable tool, better finishes, uh, better perpendicularity from floor to wall, and ultimately just a, a high-performance bang-for-your-buck package. No, it sounds wonderful. And to really highlight some of the capabilities of this tool, let's talk about how it performs in specific applications, such as outside profiling. What can we talk about there? So outside profiling is, is kind of the meat and bones of what this tool was driven around. Uh, this is where you'll be able to get that, uh, that length of cut, uh, you know, really dove down into the, uh, the part and uh, with seven flutes hit material removal rates uh, that really add a lot of profit to the, uh, to the ultimate part that the customer is making. Uh, we can uh, hit some pretty aggressive rates and step overs. Uh, ultimately, like I said, this is the, uh, the drive of the tool. So what we're seeing here is obviously very impressive. Uh, but with that being said, Chris, what sets the Series 77 apart from other tools within that space? Well, traditionally, when you see a high efficiency milling uh, kind of driven tool, you think of like a 10 to se or 7 to a 10 percent step over radially. Uh, and, and while this tool works great in that 10 percent is really our target and, and we go above and beyond that, depending on the material um, and the length of cut, you know, we can get up to 20 percent step over depending on, you know, if it's an easier to machine material and, you know, our two and a half times D. Uh, even with the four times D, being able to hit 10% step overs, ultimately it's a, a really large performance gain that a lot of the competitive tools out there just aren't capable of matching. 
No, completely understandable. And another thing that I really would like to hit upon when it comes to the Series 77 is the profile finish. So what can we expect from this type of tool? Well, you know, traditionally you think of, uh, you know, a finishing tool as a continuous edge. Uh, this tool is available with a continuous edge and a chip breaker. Uh, one of the main benefits is, is even with the chip breaker, you can still achieve uh, down to a 20 RA finish. So uh, it eliminates, in some cases, the need for two different tools, one for roughing and finishing. Um, you can do everything with this tool, uh, you know, run your, your heavier step over at your higher rates to get the material gone. And then you come back, slow it down a little bit, and you can get a really high quality finish with that same tool. And then depending on production operations, you can always transition one over to be a rougher as it wears a little bit, plug a new one in to finish. Um, you know, it just depends on what your production style is. No, very interesting. And when it comes to individual applications that really highlight how the Series 77 performs, how about tricoidal slotting? Well, tricoidal slotting is an area that this tool is uh, uh, well suited for, especially given the longer length of cut that it's available in. Uh, traditionally, you think of slotting, you know, you take a, a, a one times D step down and, and a, a heavier step over. Um, but with this tool having up to four times D, uh, we can go in at that full length of cut and use a trochoidal type tool path and get some uh, some really uh, large amounts of material moved in a pretty short period of time. And then you come back in with the same tool, finish up your walls, and, uh, and now you're done, you're off to the races. Uh, so it adds a lot of capability there, uh, as, as well as on top of that profiling option. Very capable, very versatile, and a very dynamic tool. These are all great things that we've been able to highlight. But one thing I think we haven't talked about is how this is performing in the field now. So do you happen to have any examples that would really be able to highlight again, how this is working for the operators that are utilizing it? Certainly. Uh, you know, when, when it comes to field applications, I always try to tell the customers that, uh, you know, my job is to sell you a solution and not to sell you a tool. And ultimately, that's what this tool really is. It's a solution for a, a lot of different uh, scenarios. Uh, we have one case here where we're, this is an, an aerospace application out on the West Coast. Uh, we were cutting 13.8 MO at around 42 Rockwell C. Uh, so a fairly difficult to machine material. And implementing the H-carb, we were able to cut their cycle time uh, from an hour down to about 20 minutes. Um, we were able, also able to get over 23 hours of tool life out of one tool, uh, running about a 10% step over and almost the, the full flute length. So it's a pretty aggressive cut. And, um, you know, the, the tool just kept running, which ultimately cut down the cost on the customer from not having to buy as many tools. Uh, so, you know, with a large cycle time reduction, uh, meaning, you know, labor as well, reduction on top of lower tool cost. Um, it, it accumulated to over $100,000 savings in a year on this one part for this customer. So uh, across the board, it's really a win-win and uh, really highlights that value at the spindle that the Series 77 provides. Absolutely. We are lowering cost increasing efficiency and creating value at the spindle, all things that the operator is going to be seeking desperately. So it's wonderful that you're able to provide that. So for those who are looking for more information, not only on the tool that we discussed today, but also the other products that Kyocera SGS brings to the market, where can we get that information? Head over to our website. It's a kiosera-sgstool.com. You'll find all of our product information, uh, descriptions, different uh, configurations that are offered, as well as our tool wizard, which is uh, somewhat of an application advisor. You can go in and it'll give you a, a good starting point on how to utilize our tools more efficiently, uh, more effectively. Well, wonderful. So we have options for your tangible tools or your digital guides. Kia Sara SGS offers it all. So thank you so much, Chris, for your time and your insight today. And thank all of you for joining us for our latest episode of MSC's Tooling Up featuring Kia Sara SGS. Want more insights and ideas to improve the efficiency and productivity of your operations? Check out the Tooling Up video playlist to see how we can help improve your operations and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out.